guys, what's going on? Today we're gonna to be talking about hilling and walking on a hill. We're gonna use Grim today. And I'm gonna show you a couple things that I'm doing to get that walk on the hill. And maybe you can try this with your pet dog at home. That way you can get a better hill, all right? First, we need to teach our dog how to hill stationary, right? So if you notice, I'm cheating. I have a treat pouch, I have it on my side. I have it on my leg right here right so i can reach down and grab my treats because grim is going to be walking on this hill on the left side so if i want to get grim's attention so as he looks at me boost, i get him in the hill right this is stationary so he's on the hill he's right next to me okay we're not talking about walking backwards we're just talking about walking forward right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wait till this car pass We continue right my dog did not react to the cars we stood still but you know the car was going way over speed limit for the area we did good okay so if you notice i have a, a leash with grim we're not doing this off leash you're gonna need a leash this is gonna help prevent your dog from jumping up every single time you try to do this right so they need to know how to walk on the leash so we're gonna bring grim back here we're gonna put him in the stationary right now when me and grim started the walk Whenever he looks at me, I'm gonna reward him. We're gonna go a short burst. So if I go here, boom, I'm gonna reward Grim because he's paying attention to me, okay? Boost. So I get him back in the same position, right? I already got my treat in my hand. He can smell it in my pocket. Boost. If he comes out of position, I'm gonna bring him back. I'm gonna put him back in position. Boost. As soon as he looked, he took a look at me, I, I rewarded him. Now, I didn't reward him when he was looking at me, he walked in front of me, because I don't want him walking in front of me, I want him walking on the side of me, okay? This. Okay? So I need to have this leash fixed. I need it sideways. I need this collar sideways. That way I can control the side of his neck. Right? So I'm gonna walk down real quick because I want Graham to, uh, the point of the reward is when Graham looks at me, okay? So I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna start walking. I want Graham to look down and look away from me. The minute he looks back up at me, I'm gonna reward him. That second he, really, he looked at me, I rewarded him, okay? He starts off looking at me in the beginning and that's because he knows that the tree's coming, but I want him to look down and look away so I can reward him for looking at me. This. Good boy. His duration is picking up so he's less likely to take his eyes off me because he's waiting for the tree, okay? So normally they take your eyes off you when they take your eyes off you, when they look back at you, you reward them, okay? He's been doing it for a couple days, so he's kind of understanding not to take his eyes off me during the walk. Boost. Good boy. All right, we're in short dur durations. We'll do it in a minute off leash. Boost. We'll do it off leash in a minute. Good boy. Boost. Post. Post. Foos. All right. So we'll do it off leash in a minute. Come on, girl. I'm using the leash to control this whole method. So when I take them off leash, it'll be a lot smoother. Foos. Boom. He looked away. As soon as he looked back at me, I rewarded him. Okay. So now I'm going to take him off leash. And we'll see how better it looks with him off leash. Okay, he'll have a lot more freedom. We don't know if he's ready to be off leash with it yet, but we're about to find out. Okay, so I always check in with the dog, see if they're ready to be off leash with it. Grim, foos. Foos. Good boy. Come on.
So we'll do a pulse, we'll do a heel, and then we'll do a walk, okay? Fist. Post. Fist. Fist. Good boy. Fist. Post. Good boy. So we got our pulse, we got our healing, and we're gonna do our walk. Fist. 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 Good boy. I'm only taking about 10 steps, and I'm getting that walk and that focus heal, right? Fist. Fist. Good boy. Easy peasy. Start off with just having them heal beside you. Start building duration with doing the foos on the walk, and then you can start taking them off the leash. This is a five second little training thing. Foos, it's harder to do it with an adult dog. If they never healed before, it's really easy with a puppy. Foos. I gotta get them back in position. Perfect, right? Reward him for being in a position. Then we'll make our walk. I bring that treat out, slightly over. Look at his head. Right? Lift it up. Fist. He gets the too far ahead. Fist. Good boy. Then you'll be able to do 15 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet, 40 feet to a whole walk. So easy teaching a puppy how to hit that hill, how to walk on that hill, and how to get in that position. So I'm Rodriguez Carter, this is Madison Bell. We're doing healing on a walk, and that's how we start off for short durations. I got my uh, treats ready to go. Delivering the treat is most important. If you're delivering a treat too soon or too slow, you're gonna miss that action. As soon as the dog looks at you, boom. They start thinking, every time I look at them, I get a treat. Then I gotta start thinking, don't take my eyes off him, I'm gonna keep in the treat. That's the point of it. So that's your pet healing focus heal. Keep your dog on you. Get your dog to heal. And you'll be good. Madison Bell, we're out.